going to show Rain World 5000 series router. So the basic specification of the Rain World 5000 series, uh, this is the body of the Rain World 5000 series. It's having two parts. One is the outer body and another is the pop-up body. So you can see the pop-up. Pop-up will come like this. Okay, it will have a place for the nozzle. Uh, this we can decide using this uh, nozzle tree. Whichever the nozzle we want, we can take a call on this. Nozzle tree having a lot of nozzles. Okay, so first I will show you the threading. This is the 3 by 4 inch uh, female threading is available here. So you have to use a male thread adapter is called uh, 3 by 4 inch uh, or 25 mm uh, MTA it's called so MTA you can put the thread seal here you can apply thread seal over here and you can just tighten it so and then this will go to the PVC any kind of PVC you can you can dig a small uh, trench of uh, 10 inches by 10 inches and you can dig it in that this will could be the ground level so once the water comes this will pop up and it will come out and it will water the area so next i will show you how will you insert a nozzle nozzle before that you have to take a call on which nozzle you have to use so here i will show you this is a nozzle tree usually you will be getting Sometimes it will be uh, split from this particular nozzle tree, but obviously it will have the markings here. You can see here uh, 1.0, 1.5, 1.5 here. This 4 is for the low angle. Basically, to windy area, we have to use this low angle nozzles. This 1, 2, 3, 4. It's available in 1.0, 1.5, and uh, 2.0, and uh, 2.5. So this 4 is available for the low angle. This is mentioned here, low angle. The, for the two windy area so remaining this nozzle will suggest the rest of the regions where the, there is no much more wind and you, if you want to get the rain cover technology you can use here again it is available in 1.5 2 2.5 uh, 3 and here it is uh, here it is 4.0 5.0 uh, and 6.0 so usually i will suggest you rather than going through all the hurdles i'll I will request you to select the two if you are a beginner then if you want to you can go to the specs of this particular product and check which uh, nozzle will do the purpose for your objective. So I selected the two, I select the 2.5 for the time being. Then you have to insert it this way you can see here just remove this nozzle, nozzle from the nozzle tree you can just uh, now tear it off. And uh, as per this, we can insert it, press it. Then you have to tighten one screw. I'll show you that also. So for easy understanding, I will suggest you to open it like this. This is easy to understand. Here you can see one screw. This screw is to keep the nozzle in the nozzle slot. So you tighten it. The nozzle will be fixed when the water pressure comes it will not come out and this is for fixing the angle angle in the sense default it will be fixed for uh, 45 degrees so you can change the start point i'll show you later on and after that if you want to increase that radius and the coverage you can increase decrease so here is the here is that one if you put clockwise it will be uh, decreasing if you put anti clockwise it will be uh, decreasing so let let me show you here the nozzle tree the thread has been fixed you can see here the thread has been fixed uh, now next is to understand what is the starting point and ending point so you see here once let me say this is my long so here is the starting point it is ending here 
So default it will be 90 degree approximate coverage is happening. I think previously I mentioned 45, not 45, default it will be 90 degree. So you can see. So here is the starting point. This is the end point. Start, end. Start, this is the starting point and this is the end point. So let me say you wanted to change the orientation in the sense rather than this area you want to cover this area still you can do that one. In anti-clockwise you rotate it further. So you hold it and anti-clockwise you rotate it further you can change this one. Now you can see the start point has been moved to here. Still, if you want to, you can do it again. So this becomes the starting point. This becomes the end point. This becomes the starting point. This becomes the end point. Let me say again, I wanted to change the starting point. I rotate it anti-clockwise. So likewise, you can fix the starting point. See here now, we reached to the first position. Now let me say it is rotating this much. You wanted to increase. Increase means anti-clockwise, you have to rotate the screw. See, it has been increased. You can see almost uh, Two seventy-five degree. Now it is coming. Still, if you want three sixty, again anti-clockwise. Now it's almost three sixty degree. You can see it's almost three sixty degree. It is rotating. So let me say you wanted to decrease it anti-clockwise. So it has been. Okay. Hope you understand. Let me know for any other suggestions. Thank you very much.